Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave here. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. We're back with Vikings. Yep. Eric's not here. He got into a car crash and then he died. He's dead. Yeah. It's very sad. Um, I wasn't sad. So who the hell is that guy, that mask guy at the end? Is it Hitzwerk? <sighs> I don't think it's Fitzwerk. Okay. In fact, uh, we should probably find out. There was a poll. Okay. That we did. Yeah. Okay. Vikings, season 5, episode 13, poll. Is a cloaked man about to be sacrificed? Uh, uh, Fitzirk? And then uh, 29% said yes. So most people agree with us. 70% said no. Okay. Okay. Let's see some of the comments we have here. Yeah, I'd like to find out uh, what their reasoning is if it's semi in line with ours. I'm thinking it might, okay, Paul Richardson says, I'm thinking it might be the seer himself being sacrificed, and the scene in the seer's shack is them coming for him, maybe? That's a good seer. I, was actually, I didn't think that, yeah. that's. I, I didn't think of the seer either at all. I'm an idiot. That's a... I was talking to a friend, and she said basically the same thing. I think it's the seer, yo. And I'm like, oh, shit. Didn't think of that, you know? Huh. huh. But well, I think it would be a stupid thing to sacrifice the seer. I think it would be too, but... Ivar is not the smartest cookie. Okay, Brock says, It is Vitzirk, but it's a vision by the seer. He will tell Ivar something bad will happen if he does if he does sacrifice Vitzirk. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going with the, it is, but it's fake. Cheyenne like, says, sequence Sh thing. Cheyenne, I think that's Cheyenne. It's not Shane, is it? No, that's Cheyenne. Okay, Cheyenne Hacker says, If not Vitzirk, then who? I don't know. I don't know. Dip says, yes, I think it's him. And the reason he is cloaked is because the people won't know who he is until the very end. And that's my theory. Okay. Dobby. Ivar is sacrificing the seer because he doesn't celebrate his, his godhood or offend his godhood. Okay. Uh, I can see that, kind of. Maybe, yeah. Josh, uh, Josh Borman says, whoever it is, I'll forgive Ivar. I can't stay mad at that crazy bastard. I disagree. <laughs> I highly disagree. One chance. It... It definitely not Vitzirk. I'm rather expecting some sort of a lackluster, such as a random woman dressed as Lagatha. Okay. And then Annika says fake Lagatha. Kathy Garcia says it's either Freitas or King Harold. Ivar is crazy but not stupid. I think he can tell when people are playing him, and these two are doing the most at the at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's going to be uh, Freitas or Freida, whatever her name is. Yeah, it's Freitas, yeah. Yeah. I'll, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, and then, but TBC Alex says Freitas is with him, and Harold is in York, though. <laughs> yeah. I so. I don't think it can possibly be Harold. No. And Freitas, unless he does a switcheroo, no. Yeah. Yeah. Angry Bob Ross. I don't think it's Vitzerk. Ivar's saying he wants to be a god, which makes me think it's a seer. He's going to sacrifice. He's he's someone the gods would definitely recognize. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, a lot of people don't think it's Vitzerk. And I, hopefully we're not wrong, but I guess we'll find out. Right now. Moment of truth. Oh. Okay. That's not Lagatha. Oh shit. He is an idiot. And honestly, wouldn't that make the gods mad? Yeah. They ought to. A Danish king handed her over to us. Oh, fuck, that sucks, dude. In the yeah. name of Odin, and in the name of my fellow gods. That is a terrible, terrible way to die. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, fuck that kid, man. Fucking little gimpy ass bitch. Crawling around. Like that. He's no different from that boy from Secret Garden. He needs to realize, hey man, this bitch is crazy. Let me go join my family. I think Vitzer's gonna leave. You very well that wasn't luck at that. And you're not the god. He's saying some words, of man. Course. Yeah, he is. He is a god. Yeah. I'm the god. <laughs> You've killed him. She's carrying my grandchild. I want to, to be alive, I want to meet my grandchild. Nobody chooses to walk away! Shit. She said that she was unhappy. That she did not want to bring a child into this terrible world. And that she would make sure that it did not happen. 
at the waterfall, I had a message from Ayat. This is she real? wanted to see me. And that my child was an evil spirit that could not be allowed onto the earth. And I knew that I was dead. He had already prepared a place for me, and it made a shallow trench. He laid me in the shallow trench, then covered my body with stones. Oh. That's not good though, then they're gonna all think that since he knows where it is. Yeah, that he did it. That really makes you feel like you're there and it's wet, doesn't it? Because yeah. like the lens is foggy. The gods seem to have decided that I should never be happy in married. <laughs> One day you will be, King Harald. Feel it in my guts. <laughs> in my interests. You should start laughing at that. <laughs> His bewildered face. How's this woman doing? You will work with my brother, Prince Aethelred, and Bishop Heckman to devise a strategy to defeat Feinherr's army. If you refuse, you will be killed. That's fair. Shaved his head. There'll be no future here. No grant of land. Nothing. I like him better without a stash. You must understand. What? <laughs> you cut your hair. <laughs> what the fuck is this? First lesson Alfred. is not to be afraid. So go and stand by the tree. I hate his look! I hate it! This is cool though. Fuck He's yeah. gonna teach him to not be afraid when he throws an axe at him. <laughs> Uva! Do not be afraid. <laughs> Just stand there. Stand there! Oh, fuck! You must admit your guilt. I know who killed you. Yeah. We can't go on. We have to make a decision. What the fuck are all these people? There's just a bunch of assholes killing each other constantly. I hear Harold Feinherr is on his way here with a great army. Don't do it, Bjorn. Don't do it. Your brother should never have been made king. The decision has placed our whole realm in jeopardy. He, he gave up his right. And feeble leader. You think he's gonna go through with it? I hope not. I hope he's just doing this. To I think he's I hope that. he's double crossing. Yeah. He's getting him into Call a trap. Him. That's gonna I hope not. elevate him in my eyes if he is it, if he's double crossing him. Yeah. Is it true you want to rebel against me? I expect you to rejoice, for you are especially privileged. For you are ruled by a god. Oh man. He's been saving that up for a while. Hatred must never take the place of love. <laughs> <sighs> You will accomplish what others before you have failed to accomplish, but the cost will be too high. I know that what I do not know is the only thing that I really know. I'm afraid of going into the dark. Please. <sighs> Hope something bad doesn't happen. I do. She's smiling. So we are going to fight King Harold. Be not afraid that for this love, your God will forsake you. Yes, but now, in this moment, I desire you more. I would go to hell for you, Agatha. They are, after all, only human. The axe will kill them, too. You ever heard of Bjorn Ironside? Yep. I know my life is about to change. Settling thought to have. <laughs> yeah. The war council. Here's the fuck. There's Bjorn right behind him. Oh my gosh. Man, I hope he's not gonna double cross him. Love you, brother. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. He's nervous. My lords. I've Ube decided knows. to lead you into he battle. Sees. Come on, Uber. I know that I have the support of my beloved brother. Aethelred. Save the life of the king! And of Uber, the Christian son of Ragnar. Uber sees. He can't do it. 
that we are lost. <laughs> I'm like, looking the right fuck at him. What are you doing, bro? I want you out to meet someone special. This is Magnus. Like and a loser, right? Damn it. Our half brother. Hello, Magnus. You must be like a thumb. What a great privilege it is to meet you at last. And you, you must be Uber. Did you ever meet Ragnar? Yes. When he was in prison here, I met him. And he told me that he loved me as much as all of his other sons. Nope. I don't like him. Ragnar also told me that he never had sex with Queen Quentrest. That he was wounded and she pissed on his wound. No, I do not believe that he is my father's son. I do not believe that we should betray Alfred on his word. <laughs> That's because Alfred has corrupted you. And now you call yourself a Christian. Ah. Uh, you don't believe me. I can see. You can believe what you want to believe. I, I mean, it's sorry. true just by your belief. I just don't believe your story. Your decisions are worthless, Floki. Lord. You're not king of this island. Right, people there are. You like the sound of your own words, don't you, Floki? Yes. They always sound hollow to me. Avind and his entire family are expelled from the settlement. We could fight. You could. But you would lose. <laughs> I fully believe that man when he says that. You can't kill me, Avind. No matter how hard you try. <laughs> <laughs> so badass. I don't feel bad for that one guy though, the younger son. Yeah. And those poor kids. Yeah. They're not involved. They don't care. Yeah. Wonderful things have come to pass. I know what I know. You cannot deny my divinity. You've known about it all along. Taming is in here. Stella lately in Vera. Could love you, Coxanat. Tell them the truth. You are I for the boneless son of Ragnar. A snake has settled in your skull, and your eyes betray you. Your path is strewn with garbage and filth. No! Good lord. I love this here. Yeah. Alright. Okay, I guess first thing to think, first things first for me, he killed the seer. Yeah. That was this dumb move, stupid move. I love the seer. Like, I know Eric and occasionally Aaron, maybe occasionally you, didn't, didn't like. No, I. I... I don't know, I was always confused by the seer, but I, I always enjoyed the seer. Yeah, I mean, but the idea of, like, is it real, is it not real? Like, yeah, I, I, I no, think I, I, I never had any trouble with that. It's like... It was mostly fucking Eric then. Well, but, yeah. you know, like, I, I love not knowing, and I love not knowing the rules. You know what I mean? Is it divine, is it not divine, is he some crazy guy? Like, the thing, the conversation between Ragnar and the seer, you know, where Ragnar saying no, you know, Lagatha you know, heard your words, and that's what made her believe that she couldn't have a child. When she yeah. could, you know, just all these things, like, because we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's one of the greatest parts of the show, and now he's fucking dead! Yep. Killed by a guy who I'm liking less and less every episode. Like, I don't... I... The time that I liked Ira the most is when he was with Ragnar. Yeah. Like, it's not like... When Ragnar was, like, grooming him and teaching him how to... Yeah. How to be and everything like that. But then when Ragnar died... He just got real crazy. The ambition just grew to the point of craziness. And it's like, it's not like I, I don't hate him. Like, I, I hate, I love to hate him, I should say. Like, kind of like, like Joffrey, I love to hate. But like, who's that one chick got a throat slit last episode or two episodes ago? Margaret? Yeah. Like, I just hated her. I didn't love to hate her. I just wanted her gone. And she's gone. I didn't want her throat slit, but like. Yeah. Like, Ivar, I'm interested in the storyline. I do, you know, I, I, I love his storyline. I'm just, I'm hating the decisions he's making. He's making yeah. me hate him. And he's blind. He's booty blind. He's booty blind by the chick yeah. with the big ass, man. I'd be I, too, man. I get it. I, get I it. love the idea of Ivar. I just don't like the character right now. Yeah, yeah. I, you yeah, know? Yeah. 
it's certainly interesting, but I don't think I don't like him either. He's pissing me off. Like he's a he's a good antagonist. He is. to our great protagonists. He's that a we have. good antagonist. Yeah, but but oh, man, he's such a frustrating character. I guess the the I'm great thing about him is how well he's written as as a, as yeah. a frustration yeah, I, I'm to the a, show. I'm actually. Like, I see him more as a straight antagonist right now, so I don't feel the frustration. I just expect him to be an antagonist and do antagonistic things. But Bjorn, I'm frustrated with. Yeah. Like, I'm frustrated with him because I love Bjorn. I've loved Bjorn for a long time. Yeah. And, dude, it's just... Yeah, and now he's just being this... He's being, like, a mini antagonist to these protagonists that I love. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's there's nothing but drama. You know how it, I hate it drama. Is a, it is historical drama. <laughs> it is a historical <laughs> drama, yes. But, ah. Um, I don't know why Why would, I mean, Bjorn wants to believe him because he, but why would, I mean, why, why can't Bjorn just take Lagatha's word of it? Like, he never slept with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, back then, all they had was word of mouth, and, and it was, for the because most. Because Bjorn is looking for evidence not to trust the the. There Christians is no evidence. It's just and, his word. He's he's seeking evidence where he can, and he yeah. sees that man's word as evidence. Yeah. No matter who he is, he might not even be Magnus. He might have been Magnus's friend when he was growing up, and ended up killing him and trying to steal his birthright. We I don't mean, know. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I believe it's Magnus, but <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah. it, it could be Magnus. Yeah. But you know, just like we don't know that, Bjorn doesn't know that. Yeah. It. it, it he's doing things that I don't want. Yeah, Bjorn. I, I do not. I do not want Bjorn to go against Lagatha and Ube and Ube, and yeah, and Torvi. Yeah, I do not want. That's the mother of his child, for one thing. Like, yeah. So like, yeah, I, I do not want that. I hope Bjorn comes to his senses, kills Magnus, and and it looks like Aethel Red uh, was prepared to betray his brother. Yeah, and just couldn't go through with it. It wasn't. It wasn't a double double cross plot or anything like that. He was going to go through with it, and then yeah. That final little, you know, hug out with his brother. Yeah. It's like, I love you, and I you. Yeah, and it wasn't... That it, was just enough. Yeah, and, and just, like, also, like... I, I think it surprised him when he said, I've decided to leave the armies. Yeah. Yeah, like, he kind of looked at him when he came, the camera came to focus, kind of, when that happened. Like, I think that was, like, kind of surprised him as well, made him respect him a little bit, and say, oh, yeah. okay, I thought I was going to do it. You know, and you were going to sit back and, you know, yeah. put your feet up. Um... Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that didn't happen. And then, of course, the conspirators are now probably upset. Yeah, they're they're going to be angry with Aethelred. Which, I mean, he hasn't consummated his marriage with his wife. So, if he wants to get in good with his brother again, you know, it's a it's a short step away from well, his wife getting rid not, of that wife. She, I mean, he might not need to do that. Like, the wife... Doesn't seem like she's part of the plot. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's some... I, I'm sure Thanksgiving is a little weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know there's no Thanksgiving. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm sure yeah. it's a little weird at the dinner table. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I thought that was the whole reason why he was he was uh, courting her. I mean, we found that out, like, immediately after... Yeah, yeah. Alfred talked to... Yeah. To Hagen. I mean, you're right. Maybe, maybe that's part of, like, his... Like, like how he fr- how he sees a relationship, so maybe he he can't kill his brother. Maybe he can't stay married to her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe like he was he was planning on killing his brother and the, the pagans, and then going back and banging his his wife. Yeah. The consummate. Yeah. So he was like leaving. He was he was hedging his bets as much as he could. Mm-hmm. He was leaving both pathways open. Until he made a decision, and I think he's made his decision. I hope he's gonna stay with his brother. Yeah, me too. I think he is. I mean, I mean, I know he's out for the great, and I don't think he's gonna die this soon. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I don't. I do not think that's a good haircut, facial hair decision. I don't know. No, I preferred him with long hair. He had that, like that regal, innocent look. You know what I mean? That looks kind of like skanky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But whatever. I don't know. He looks. Yeah, he looks like a steel worker or some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a skanky steel worker, but he just looks like a steel worker. He looks like he should be in Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, Throwing shovelfuls of coal. Yeah. 
Yeah. So Lagatha and, and uh, Edmund. Um, Hagman. Hagman. Yeah. Sorry. He he really he really loves Lagatha. Yeah. Like any man, he's forsaking his a lot of his core values sometimes when you <laughs> when you see like when you love yeah. a girl and she's captivates you that much like as I know I've I know I've done that man um but she loves him too you know I think he needs to have a come from, I think he needs to come uh, look at it for a clearer head you know what I mean um, yeah I mean I'd go to hell for you you're, like, you're, you're complaining color. about Ivar but your boy Hagman, he's doing the same thing. He's booty blind, man. Yeah, but yeah, but Lagatha is not <laughs> trying to take advantage of him like his wife is. You know what I'm saying? I think she's trying to do the best that she can for him and put him in the best position that she can. And I think that that what's her face? I, I, yeah, but you're right. But I, I, I think he, she's trying to do the same thing. I can't even fucking remember. Like, oh, huh? uh, uh, Freitas. Yeah, Freitas. Freitas is definitely. You're right. He, from the outside, simply they're both doing that. But Lagatha doesn't seem. Lagatha seems to really love him. I yeah. Think. She's, yeah, and she's, she's doing, not trying to fucking. Yeah, like, she's doing get, what is right. Yeah. Well, I, it's hard to say what any character's doing. Right. What, yeah, what's right and what's wrong? I mean, he's a bishop. He shouldn't be banging anybody. You're right. She should be. But 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 they feel their love. He should is, be respecting his vows, and yeah. she should. You know, try and help him respect his vows, yeah. but but they both believe their love is they take their love so seriously that it supersedes all everything. Yeah. And, and I think when people get to that point, I think a lot of people always get to that point. You know what I mean? When they, you know, I mean when they like, you know, they put their relationship above everything. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, I mean, Freitas is kind of doing that too. Kind of, but I, you know, the way she did it, the way she's manipulating with the blood, and she stood by why that L- Lagatha clone got. You know, not even a very good one. You got her throat slit and burnt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that didn't seem right at all to me. Yeah. yeah that's a lot I mean, that's just, that's just purely wrong. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing about that that is right or justifiable. Yeah. And just... It's in, like in, he's... He's <sighs> he's saying he's doing all these great things. Like, capturing Lagatha and putting her to death and getting revenge and everything like that. Yeah, he has he, done... Nothing. He might believe he's a god, but if he believes in a god, like to have like kind of an unpleasant sacrifice, you know, like cause, you know, I I imagine they're yeah, he's just getting talked into some shit. Yeah. Um, just he's manipulating the people, and she's his wife is playing along, or at least helping him do it. I think she's she's manipulating him to manipulate the people. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's always had this idea that he's greater than men, but he's not. He can't fucking walk. Well, it's not about that. Like he That's half of it. He's saying that, that the crippledness is, is a is a touch from the gods and it's making him special and stuff like that. He can believe that, but Yeah. Him just killing a random woman, telling the people and the gods that that's lag- and they don't even believe his ass, you know what I mean? Nobody believes him. The gods can't believe him. They know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um Yeah. He's just a fool. He's a fool, Shane. Yeah. Um, Vitzer. I missed the seer. Yeah, seer's great. And Vitzer, uh, so we kind of got that question answered. Like, he's, he believes that God want him, the gods want him there for a purpose. And, and the seer kind of said that much, that he will accomplish what everyone else has tried and failed to do, but it'll come at a great cost. So I don't yeah. know what that means. Maybe he'll kill Ivar, but it'll cost him his life. Like, that's the first thing I thought of. I don't think... I was thinking that Ivar would have enough of him and kill Vitzer. And then the people would rebel and kill Ivar and uh, Freitas. Freitas. Don't and that the, the people would be free from under his thumb, but that Fitzerk would probably die in the process. I mean, he, yeah, he would have to die because that was a stupid way of putting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Fitzerk and Ivar and Freitas all die. Hopefully, Lagatha, Bjorn, and Ube, and, and uh, Hedman, and. Hagman. Hagman. <laughs> Alfred, everyone, just go back to. Go back to Katagat and live peacefully. <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah. Let Harold do his shit over in England. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! And of course, back, uh, back in Greenland, Iceland, or wherever they are, the, 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 you know, the New World. Iceland, I think. Yeah, wherever they are in the New World, uh, they murdered that. You know, the the brother murdered the the other brother's wife. Yeah, yeah. That was carrying a child. Yeah. Just, uh, just terrible, and to see, you know, obviously that vision. Even didn't didn't 
know anything about it. He didn't want it to happen. It's like he wanted to see his grand, you know, yeah. his grandchild. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't have done anything. And that fucking brother. That little fuck, yeah. <sighs> and, and of course. Helgi, right? Helgi? I think Helgi. I think we gotta look is, him up right now. Yeah. Helgi, I think, is the one that his wife was killed in this episode. Okay. Or last episode, whenever it was. But. Damn you, Gus. And they were all banished. I, it's terrible. I hate that, but I get it also. Yeah, I get it too, but I do hate it. Like, I do. It's such a hard stance. But to get rid of the rot, you have to cut it out, you know? Yeah, and you'll get some good tissue in there too. Obviously, in the day side, we just, you know, try that guy for murder and... Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything else. And, and the dad will be so shamed that the children will turn against him. Um, yeah, yeah. The names. Okay, the, the son is Helgi, like you said. And Thorn is his wife who was murdered with child. Yeah. I can't remember who the brother who killed them, their name is. It's kind I of. I yeah. can't remember. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, I, I guess. I think the father had nothing to do with it. It seemed like. I believe that yeah. the father had nothing to do with it. And that's. But That's basically. why he was so upset when he was like, yeah, all you people are getting thrown out. Yeah. I was like, what? I I didn't do anything wrong this time. <laughs> yeah. But he's like, all this shit happened because of you. No, yeah. I mean, it's like he was going to make him lawgiver if he didn't if he didn't retaliate and do any that revenge point, killing. <clears throat> at that point in time. But he said he retaliated through his son. That That's why I was confused. Like, did he his son conspire? I don't think... Like, I don't know. Like, I, I thought it was kind of unclear if... To me, it was a little less clear. But, I, you know, he seemed, when they dug her up, like he was crying. I mean, the actor, I don't think, was doing the best job at it. <laughs> but it looked... Which, like, which actor? Um, uh, the, the, the law... The, the guy who... Uh, the, the father, the patriarch. The guy who was supposed to be lawmaker. Uh, Avond? Yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 So, I, I, I he would... Was, he was distraught, and he thought everybody was going to blame him for it. Yeah. Because he knew it wasn't him, but he didn't know. I don't think he knew who it was. Yeah. So, I mean, what's what's weird is, like, you know, I, I guess another, in favor of the show having real supernatural things, like, you know, like, I think the way uh, um, Floki kind of uh, had that vision, the way he discovered the body. Yeah. I think that, that makes a good case that there's supernatural stuff in the show. I mean, you could say that he imagined that vision and he got lucky and someone found, you know, because they said, you know, because Floki wasn't talking. Yeah, I mean, and then uh, Edge or whatever was like, hey, the, the dirt here is, I mean, the ground here, the earth here has been uh, has been messed with, and they dug her up. But, you know, so but I think that the show visually is, was making the case for the supernatural. But yeah, that that sucked. They're all banished now, so maybe that community will thrive. I don't know, but I hope. I think that's going to be the end of that that particular drama. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, when the show to turn to the side and her head was all fucked up, dude, that sucked. Yeah. We had the scene with Harold, <laughs> where he said, "I believe the gods will never want me happily married." <laughs> I thought that was funny. And that one chick, whatever her name is, was like, "No, I believe you will be," because I feel. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I believe it because she said she felt in her gut too. You know, I thought that was kind of funny. You think there's any kind of like romance brewing there? I don't know. I don't know. Because I think she's with the uh, the one big guy, right? Yeah. I can't remember his name. Yeah. I think she's I with. I, wrote it I, down I thought she somewhere. was with Bro Man. So, um, yeah, I don't Hakun? know. What? Hakun? I don't Is know. Is that his name? We need a fucking list like we do for five of the, the three of the things we do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, to me, it was. The body language, like, not not just the words I was saying, like, the, kind of the body language between them, like, when she said that, you know, what, how he reacted to it, and what her, the other guy who was, like, might be with her, well, how he reacted to that, too, you know what I mean? They were giving each other these looks. Yeah. Um, I, I personally want to see a lot more of Ube and Alfred training. I want a nice training montage. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we're going to get more of that next episode, Maybe. I maybe. Hope. But, I mean, like, the show just won the show. Us, hey, he's trained. You know, we just got to believe it took place in that short amount of time. It's kind of like the Empire Strikes Back. You know what I mean? Like, this character did acquire information. 
uh, you know, we're just not going to tell you how long it took. Yeah. We just got to believe that it happened. Um, Magnus, that little shit, the way he was lying about how him and Ragnar embraced. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, they did, they did embrace. I don't remember that. I don't even remember them embracing. It was... It did happen in, in the throne room. Did he when, didn't say anything about, um, I love you like my other sons, though, right? I'm very sure that didn't happen. I thought it did. Really? Yeah, because I thought at the time, though, I thought the only reason he was doing it was to save the boy from being punished oh, you're by association. I thought that was the reason, and he may have taken it. Yeah, and then when they all left, he told... Yeah. That guy, she, he's not my son. Yeah. I think you're fucking right. I we'll I can't up. remember. I want to look it up. You know, I had my doubts about that boy all along. It says after Magnus. Why have you taken so long to return? Okay, well... <sighs> yeah, I, I can't... Okay, well, I can't remember. Maybe Calvin's right. Uh, but either way, he, he, he believes it. Okay? Yeah. I'm sure they'll tell us in the comments. Yeah. Stuff okay. like that. Fucking math actor will be like, sure, you idiot. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, is that about it? Um, let me think. Okay, the rebellion guy, the guy who's trying to start the rebellion, yeah. was caught, was given the chance by Ivar to repent, denounce his rebellion, and he spit in Ivar's face yep. and had a terrible fate for it. He was hung yeah. in the square. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean... To I, warn others. Yeah, and like I said, Ivar still, it seems like he needed some validation from the seer. He didn't get it at all and even killed him for it. Um, yeah, I, Ivar is just... Yeah. He's so bullheaded. Yeah. It's like it's his way Yeah. or death, he had, and he won't hear anything else. Okay, let's look at Q&A, guys. All right. So, Magnus uh, says, The stuff with Floki in Iceland is like Dorne from Game of Thrones. Nobody is interested, yet it still continues. Floki is cool, but the story is lacking. Um, I pretty much agree. I kind of agree. But I, this episode... I feel what? like they're, they're, they're putting that character on hold for something later on that I hope is going to be awesome. But, yeah, like, like we've said kind of all along... Like, if it wasn't for Floki, I wouldn't care about that at all. Yeah. You know? Like, I, I love some of the actors, and the characters are kind of cool, but as far as the drama goes, it, it should have... It's, it's it not, should have been dealt with a long time ago. I, I don't feel like it's been... Like, the characters, I don't feel like they've been handling like this, the drama. Like family, this been. family drama has been going on forever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Um, yeah, I pretty much agree. Uh, I mean, but this episode was the probably the best out of that like that over yeah. there in Iceland I feel like last episode where they were like yeah let's put our differences aside and let's try to, to live and everything like that and with the exception of the murder of uh, Thorum is that her name Thorin Thorin Thorum Thorin Thorin or Thorin Thorin yeah um, with the exception of the murder of Thorin I really enjoyed this episode too. Yeah, so but like, I, I I didn't enjoy her murder. But I, I didn't enjoy her. I, well, that's I think why it, I said with I, the exception of her murder. Yeah, but what? But, but, but I think it it helped escalate. It was it, was it helped a, escalate. It was definitely the drama. a catalyst. Yeah, to, yeah. To continue and yeah. get everything yeah. moving in that direction. Uh, yeah. So it looks like there's going to be a change, like change up, from, because that family was expelled. Uh, so I think maybe hopefully now we can move forward and come up with a better storyline. Hope so. I like uh, what's his name. Is it Flat News? Yeah. Edge? Yeah. Yeah, I think... I like him. Give him so. something to do. Yeah. <laughs> I want him to do a wrestling move. <laughs> <laughs> like a choke slam or something? Yeah. Um, and Cameron B19 asks, uh, where do you think the people who got expelled from Iceland will go? Personally, I think a Greenland, then a North America storyline will be cool. Uh, it would be. Um, I would prefer other characters to take that kind of pathway and, and show us that country. I mean, rather I, than the ones who are causing all the drama and the murder yeah, and I guess my, trail and shit. What, what I'm wondering is maybe, well, I mean, from, from what I understand, 
when you know the Scandinavian uh, Vikings like like w when they came here they were obviously here a lot longer ago than we thought but like they, they couldn't really penetrate the like the inside of the, the continent like they were kind of on the edge for a long time well because the, yeah they were the natives were they were a seafaring yeah uh, they well, were accustomed to being close to the sea and, yeah you know but I, I think I might be thinking of Greenland you know what I mean they couldn't penetrate like the inside because the natives were hardcore and I'll, I'm sure Matt will tell me I didn't long. think there was any natives on Greenland or Iceland it, until the well when you know what I don't know enough about it <laughs> so maybe you're right I I I could be wrong, but I didn't. I didn't think there was any until the until the. That's, that's the lie they tell you for Thanksgiving, Calvin. <laughs> there are natives here. Greenland and Iceland is not here, Shane. Well, in the it's Americas. Not... I mean, yeah, I'm not even looking up. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, what do you think? Well, you... I, well, I, well, well, I said, would I be interested? back to the question? Yeah, I, I'd be interested if, like, you know, we looked up their names and maybe like something in history where, like, they. You that's know, what I'm looking forward to. They were part to. of, like, a, a family lineage. Like, we yeah. don't have to see them again. That's what I'm really looking forward to, like, after Vikings is finished. Just, like, go back and look these names up in history. See how many of them were actually, you know, characters. Yeah. And how how many of them were actual historical figures. Yeah. And what they actually did and their relation and, and stuff like that. Like, I'd, yeah. I'd like to know how much the the show took liberties with history. Like, I, I know the, the entire presumption... Of Rollo and Ragnar being brothers, yeah, are is is completely wrong. They existed like hundreds of years apart or whatever. Yeah, but still, like, I'd like to know. Yeah, yeah, I I like to know more about it. I, um, lo I love that kind of history stuff, yeah. especially like Scandinavian history. But uh, last one here is from Dip PG. He asks, uh, Why would Ivar give a false sacrifice? Wouldn't that anger the gods? Does that, he not believe in them anymore, or does he think he's greater than all the gods? Yeah, I mentioned that during the reaction. Uh, like for me, I'm you know I'm I'm a I'm a religious guy. You know, I try to be. Um, you know, like I guess for me, I always think of like unpleasing sacrifices or illegitimate, like you know, coming to God for, you know, throwing your sins out. You know, either in the Jewish sacrificial system or now like heart to heart. Like I feel like that's a dishonest thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I imagine it's kind of the same thing. I, common sense tells me that he's he's being dishonest to the gods, giving him a, a false sacrifice. Because he even I feel told like he told even told Hitz, uh, Hitz, Vitzerk, like this is going to be a great sacrifice. You yeah, know? and it he, so unless he it's thinks like him he, and the gods are in on it together. Yeah, I, I think he on a certain level he understands that he's lying to all the people and everything so that he can get that recognition from them so that he can like kind of kickstart their their belief in him as a god mm -hmm. and he also somewhat believes that he is a god to a certain extent yeah i believe he that believes he's that. he's like allowed to lie to them because like they're all like buddy buddy and stuff yeah that's yeah. kind of the the feeling that i'm getting but i yeah i don't know what the fuck he's doing i it's it's hard to r rationally explain what's going on in a crazy person's head, you know. Yeah. Any other Q and A's? Uh, that's it for all the Twitter Q and A's. But um, like we do every week, if you have um, questions or comments or anything that you want us to see or talk about, go ahead and get on Twitter and uh, hashtag Vikings Q and A and at Blind Wave Prod. Mm -hmm. And we will probably talk about it. Like this week, only had three, so yeah. Get on there, damn it! Uh, and we need a poll. And I was, we do need a poll. What um, I was, I mean, I, I know what my big question is. That's something that come up, probably answered. Do, do you think Bjorn will side with Magnus against Lagatha and Ube? Could do that one. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Because I really don't know. You know, I've seen brother go against brother already a couple times in his show. Well, that's that's all the sons of Ragnar have done since I've since yeah. everyone since ever. But will he go against his brother and mother? patreoncom slash wave, The poll is going to be: Do you believe that Bjorn will side with Magnus against Ube and Lagatha? Yeah, because he's he's already trying to bring them over to his and Magnus's side. Yeah, like he's. He's drinking the Kool-Aid a little bit. Yeah. And he's wanting them to get a taste. Just because he he does not like Alfred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I 
Yeah, I, I'm just I'm not for Bjorn at all, and when it comes to this subject, you know what I mean? He's he's uh, like what, what, the, I would quote you and say he has historically been on the wrong side of these things. <laughs> yes, yeah. historically. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, like like you know, for me, what the question really means is uh, when we see a battle with Alfred versus uh, Harold. Harold, will Ube be? I mean, I mean, will. Uh, Bjorn be fighting against Alfred and Lagatha and Ube, which I kind of feel like he will switch sides, just based on the conversation that Harold had with that woman. And I, I don't know who that woman is, whether they're like her and the leader of of York, that uh, that Ivar left in charge, whether they're like a thing or something like that. I don't know, but the conversation that they had was like, well, when our warriors see, you know, Ube and Lagatha and Bjorn fighting them. You know, even though there's it's three people, it's three legends of our history. Mm -hmm. And of course they're going to be intimidated. I wonder, like, if Bjorn and Magnus, sons of Ragnar, you know, mm -hmm. if them switching sides would be enough to turn the tide of the battle. You know, just having that little bit, well, you've got legendary people, but we've got legendary people too. Yeah. You know? I mean, I don't know. Story-wise... I just don't want families to fight against Me, each other. I know. The, the last time, and one of the worst times that happened, is Harold and Halfdan. Yeah. I hated that so well, much. Yeah, I mean, I hated Rolo and Ragnar, though, man. God, yeah. That really got me. The thing about... I, I get Rolo and Ragnar, though. That's been going for years and years. Well, I hated the first and there time, was, there and there was I hated definite the reasons second. why, like, dramatic reasons why that happened. But Halfdan and Harold... There was no reason other than Half Dan was trying to be a good guy, you know? Mm -hmm. And it just it just hurts. But, yeah, that's that's going to be the poll. Uh, make sure to go to patreon.com slash blindwave. Check out the poll. Yeah. Check out early access. Check out full-length reactions that yeah. we do all the time. And we will see you next week. Yes. Thanks for watching this episode of Vikings, everybody. As I said, check out Patreon. Go ahead and subscribe so you yes. get notifications. And also, for check all out our reaction store. We do. Check out the store on blindwave.net. Links down in the description. And come Twitch, Discord. Discord, yes! Come back. <laughs>